The Iron Dome defense system that is used right now saved countless lives with its breathtaking effectiveness at interception. But in future wars, whether with Hamas in the Gaza Strip or elsewhere, Israel's defense planners will have to come up with improved solutions to counter the undoubtedly upgraded weapons coming from its enemies. So what is next? Well, how about lasers instead of rockets? Yes, in this video we will talk about Israel's new laser missile defense system. Iron Beam. Yeah, I know, the name is cool, right? But it's not only the name, it's really amazing system. In this video, I will answer questions like, how is it better than the current defense system known as Iron Dome? When it will be ready to use? Why and is Iron Beam a real game changer? And believe me, friends, the answer to this question surprised me a lot, and I'm sure it will surprise you too. But don't worry, it is a good surprise. But just quickly before we will talk about it, I would appreciate it a lot if you would give a like to this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and after the video, please leave your opinion in the comment. We love hearing from you and reading your thoughts on the video. But without further ado, let's get started. In April, Israel has tested its new laser air defense system that can shoot down drones, rockets, mortars and anti-tank missiles. In fact, Israel has been testing the laser-based defense system for several years and is among the first countries to use such capabilities. From what we already know about this high-energy laser system, it will be first laser-based air defense system, capable of intercepting smaller missiles, easy to operate and cost-effective, capable of shooting down combat drones. So how does the Iron Beam work? Well, that's amazing. When Iron Beam's radar detects an incoming missile, a thermal camera takes over the tracking until the missile is engaged by two high-energy lasers at once. The lasers focus their beams on an area about the size of a coin and currently have a power of tens of kilowatts, though that's expected to increase to hundreds of kilowatts in the future. Prime Minister Naftali Bennett wrote on Twitter, Israel has successfully tested the new Iron Beam laser interception system. This is the world's first energy-based weapons system that uses a laser to shoot down incoming UAVs, rockets and mortars at cost of $3.50 per shot. It may sound like a science fiction, but it's real. Well, you have to agree that it does sound a little bit like a science fiction or something coming from a science fiction. But soon it will be reality. How soon? Its research and development department initially planned to deploy the anti-missile system by 2024, but the military has pushed for an earlier deployment. Every effort is being made to make the system operational as soon as possible and enable an efficient, inexpensive and innovative protection umbrella. But what really makes it a game changer is the cost efficiency. In the tweet mentioned before, we could read that the shot of that laser system will cost $3.50 per shot. Why is that so important? Well, let me give you a perspective of the current situation. The principal drawback of Iron Dome is its cost. The Iron Dome's Tamir missile cost anywhere from $50,000 to $100,000 for each shot. Then, if you add to it, that for example the Katyusha rockets favored by terrorist groups typically cost around $300. Also, some sources suggest that two Tamir missiles are fired at each incoming projectile to ensure success, which if true would double the cost of each interception. That is why improving cost efficiency is vital. Iron Beam can do it on astounding level. Iron Beam, like Iron Dome, will have significant export applications outside of Israel, as the threat from missiles is sadly only increasing around the world. It is amazing advanced defense system Israel has produced. In my opinion, it is really positive news. May it keep Israel's sky and land safe. Friends, thank you so much for watching and please let me know what you think about Iron Beam in the comments. I'll see you in the next video.